Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. This video is sponsored by Simon Says Stamp, so thanks so much Simon. And I'm gonna create a card for you using some products from Simon, so let's get into it. Hi everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video for SimonSysStamp.com. Today I'm going to be using no stamps. I'm going to use some Distress Oxide sprays to create a background. And then I'll be using these two dies from Simon, just plain white cardstock. I'm gonna keep it really simple today. Starting out by placing some watercolor paper inside a box. I'm gonna be doing lots of spraying today, so I like to protect my work surface by spraying things into a box that has four sides. And it doesn't have to be super tall, I'm just using a box that an online order came in. And I'm using four different colors, or actually three different colors of Distress Oxide Spray. I'm using Fossilized Amber, Picked Raspberry, and Mermaid Lagoon. These three colors create a beautiful rainbow effect. When the colors overlap, you can see that blue turn the yellow green. And the thing that I love about using these sprays, as opposed to regular dye-based sprays, is that the oxides have a little bit more pigment to them so you can layer the colors on top of each other and you're not going to have any of those colors mix too much. Um, you're going to get some color changing like with the green and the orange right there but for the most part the colors lay on top of each other beautifully. I did unscrew the tops and kind of splatter on some color, picked it up and kind of let those colors move around a little bit and I also picked up that picked raspberry bottle one more time and sprayed that pink droplet just because it was looking a little funny. So you'll notice that when I sprayed that pink on top, it sort of created a purple color. So I got even more colors when I decided to spray that picked raspberry one more time. I'm using my heat tool to speed up the drying process, but you could definitely let this air dry. And another really cool thing that happens with the oxides is when they dry back, they get kind of almost like a velvet look to them. It's a really fun effect, and you can still add more water on top to have more water effects, just like you can do with, with the original Distress inks or the Distress Oxide inks. So I use my water in a spray bottle. This is the Distressed Sprayer, Distress Sprayer, and I just sprayed that and then used a paper towel to pick up some of that moisture, and it pulls up some of that ink as well using my heat tool to speed up the drying process once again. You can see how vibrant and bright those colors get when you add a little bit of water. So I'm gonna set this aside and work on those die cuts now. Just ran these through my die cutting machine with some white cardstock, and then use some Gina K Connect glue to put little droplets of glue on all these different areas. I'm working really fast because I had to put a lot of drops on there, or a lot of dots of glue, and then glue all the way around the outside edge. I'm gonna press this down right into my watercolor piece and press it down with my fingertips and let it dry. When it comes to the You're Doing Awesome sentiment, I was planning to put it directly in the center, but then I realized that it needed something else to really emphasize that greeting. So I grabbed the Nested Hearts dies from Simon and I cut out some vellum. I'm gonna put the die cut right on top of the vellum and then pop up that piece from the front surface of the card. So I'm going to take that same connect glue that I was using before and I'm going to hold my die cut with some tweezers just so it's a little easier to maneuver while I add all those dots of glue. Then I can turn it back over and press it down to the front of this heart vellum piece. Now I did put adhesive on the entire die cut and you'll notice some areas are hanging off the sides of the heart. So after I press this down, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna use my fingers to wipe away any of that glue that's hanging around. Comes off really easy. There was one area that I did not have glue, so I just used a spare piece of a cut cardstock, put a little glue on it, and then slid that underneath the letter A to finish adhering. As far as it comes to popping this up off the surface of the card, I needed very, very small foam pieces to go behind the letters and my greeting. So I trimmed down these very narrow foam strips, even more narrow. I cut them down even more into smaller pieces and snipped little tiny squares. I'm then going to use my tweezers to pick up the foam pieces and transfer them to the areas behind the letters. 
These are very, very small foam pieces, but you don't need too many because you're going to spread them around or I spread them around so that this heart is adhered pretty evenly all the way across that area. I've pulled off the release paper on the back of these foam strips and then I pressed it down onto my design. One of the last things to do is to trim out the actual card shape. So I'm going to use a ruler and a craft knife just to trim it all the way to the edge of that die cut. I find that when I'm doing a background with a full die like this, it's just easier to glue it down with some, uh, with the bottom background layer being larger than my card and then trim it down. I created my card base out of some Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. And then I put the adhesive on the front of the card so that I could then press my design onto the card base. So that pretty much finishes the card, except I realized I forgot to dot the I and put the apostrophe in the word your. So I grabbed those little die cut pieces and I used some more of that connect glue and my tweezers to finish off these little pieces. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's card video. I think this is a really fun, simple card idea. No stamping, just dyes and some oxide sprays. Thanks so much for watching today. I will catch you guys in another Simon Says Stamp video very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this card today. It was a lot of fun to put together. And thanks so much to Simon again for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back on Friday with the third video in my Distress Oxide Ink Blending Combos mini series. Hope you guys will tune in for that. If you want to see more videos using Simon Says Stamp products, you can click on the videos that are on screen right now and it will take you straight to the video. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you tuning in and watching my little crafty times here. Thanks so much and I will see you guys in the next video.